YouTube land, what is poppin'? It is your boy Prince, aka Brian, aka B Her. You already know. Back at it again with another YouTube video. And then look, look, I'm in the same area I was before. You're seeing my face. You know what time that means. Time that means one take. That's all I'm gonna do, because I don't like editing and all that stuff. <laughs> you know what that means. Another story for you guys. Now this story, I'm probably about 16-ish, and it has to do with my homie, Tyler, you know, shouts out to Tyler, my co-host on the podcast, and his link, his social medias and stuff like that is, like, on one of my videos, probably on the podcast videos, so please go give him a follow, shout out to him. Now, I'm, he's older than me by 25 days, so I think around this time, I'm 16, and we stole a car. Kind of. Not really. We did, technically. But, yeah, I'll explain the story. <laughs> so, I just get... This is, like, a week removed from getting my permit, I believe. Because I, I think at 17, I had my license. So, yeah, I had my permit. So, I get my permit, and I go over to his house, and he's... Like, I think he kept saying, like, oh, yeah, as soon as you, as soon as you get your permit, we're going to drive my mom's car. She says, cool. She already says, cool. So, it's, it's lit. So, you know, I get the permit or whatever. So, I'm like, oh, we good. We Gucci. He's like, yeah, just come through, bro. Just come through. So, I came over. Tyler lived, when he lived in this house, he lived with his mom and his dad. And he has brothers and sisters. But that's who all who lived in the house. So, the way that his house is set up, I'm not going to go all the way into detail. But his house, like, it's all on the same floor, if you will. So, the keys were in the kitchen. And I was in his room waiting to obviously get the keys. And then his mom was in her room. So he come, he tells me, he's like, wait right here. I'm going to get the keys and we'll be ready to go. I was like, I bet. So he goes and asks his mom, can he, can we take the car to go to the mall? And be like, you know what I'm saying? This, that, and the third. So I guess I didn't know since I was in his room. His mom says, like, laughingly, jokingly, playing around, like, yeah, sure, okay. I guess I was like, I bet. And then, so he took the keys, came in the room, and was like, all right, let's go. So then I drive, and I take the back ways, like, you know, streets, like, streets with no lights and stuff like that. Like, I probably hit maybe three or four lights the way I took. And if you know, uh, you know, I'm on the north side of my town, and... We were going to the Marley Mall, so if anyone is, that's from Iowa knows where Marley Mall is, it's really not that far at all. It's probably, it's like an hour walk, but it's like five minutes to get there, if that, maybe seven. It's really not that far at all. So, we get to the mall, and then we're, the way that I parked was the easiest way to get back on track to where I drove from. So, the way that I parked we had to go all the way across the mall to get to the store we was going to go. Because what we was going to do is, like, I it used to exist, but it don't now. The hustle was in high school and middle school is, like, because, you know what I'm saying, me and Tyler played football and stuff. Like, he played baseball, I played basketball. So we used to have a sports fan. So we was always on a college tip, like, trying to get colleges. Like, for some reason, I was, like, a college kid. Like, I was obsessed with college, even though, you know, I kind of, yeah, that's another story for another day. But. I was obsessed with colleges, so we get different college t-shirts and stuff like that. And then there's this one sports store that had the 240 joint. So, you know what I'm saying? He get a shirt, I get a shirt, you know what I'm saying? We hook each other up. So, that's that was the game plan originally, right? So, then we go, and then we get all the way across the mall. And then we see some homies that, like, that went to middle school with us, but they went to the opposite school. Because, like I said before, in the previous story, there's, like, five different high schools in the city. So I was like, oh, what up, man, da, 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 dapping them up. I ain't seen them in a minute talking to my boys. These are my boys, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to them. Oh, like, yeah, how you been, dog? This, that, that word, that's crazy. So Tyler gets a call. So then Tyler goes off, and it's like me and two other homies, and I'm talking to them. And mind you, we didn't even go into the part where we was going to go for it. Like, the whole point of the going to the mall, we didn't even go there yet. We was, like, right in front of it, just talking to the homies. Tyler was on the phone, and then he just gets off the phone. He looks worried, and he's tapping me like this. He's like, oh, Brian. I'm like, Brian. Like, just over the shoulder like this, bro. I'm like, what? What, nigga? Like, what's up? Like, what? He's like, we got to go. I was like, what you mean we got to go? We just got here. We're like, what, bro, what are you talking about? Like, we just got here. What are you talking about? He's like, yeah, we got to go. My mom says she's going to call the cops. 
if we don't bring a car back. I was like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, nigga, we gotta go. Like, I, like his eyes were like bloodshot like this. Like, he's like, nigga, we gotta go. Dap them up, and I mean, we take off. We just run, run. I'm talking, because I'm telling you, we're on the opposite side of the mall. So the mall, like, we're, we was over here, but we was parked over here. Had to run all the way over there. I mean, mall security is telling us to slow down. I'm just booking. I'm not even paying no attention. I got the keys in my hand. I'm like shaking. I'm nervous. And then so I backed out of the parking lot. And then there was this Applebee's that kind of curved right next there. It's still there. And like I took the curve into the Applebee's instead of getting out and going onto the back way like I was supposed to go. And so so then Tyler's freaking out. He's like, Brian, you can't. What are you doing? You're messing up. Come on, man. Come on. We gotta go. I was like, Tyler, shut the up. Like, chill. I'm getting nervous. Like, you're nervous. You're making me nervous. Like, I'm driving. Hold on. Yeah, he didn't even drive. It was a small car. So I get out of the Applebee's, and then we start driving, and then, I mean, I'm telling you, like, there was this guy named Brad, shout out to Brad, I don't know if he would ever see this or whatever, but Brad's a good dude, he was, like, a social worker, if you will, for our basketball team, and so, like, he'd help, you know, bad kids, and I don't know, like, I can't explain how, what he really did, but he would just help kids, like, that was the main premise, so he was a good friend of our coach, so he'd help ours, because we had some bad kids, too. So it worked out that way. So, but he knew about prosecution and like juvenile hall and things of that nature. So I immediately text him. So I'm like, yo, hey, out of curiosity, if I was to take a car, but then bring it back, but then kind of steal it, but not really steal it, can I get in trouble for that? And he's like, oh, it just depends. And stuff. Mind you, I'm texting him. Here's how I got lucky. Because if I had got pulled over, it would have been GG or game over or good game. Like, that's it. <laughs> GG no re, you know. I was texting. I was driving a car that wasn't mine. I didn't have my license. I had a permit, and I was speeding. So like I, that it was over. Like I was probably, I think it was probably like twenty five because it's like the back ways. But I mean, I'm going these thirty, forty, trying to get there at enough time. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. And so I'm speeding, trying to get there, trying to get there, trying to get there. Finally get there. Shaking. I'm nervous. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to call my mom and it's about to be a wrap. It's about to be over. So we get in there. And then Ty's like, mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She just starts going in. And I just got my head down like this. So I'm just like, oh, she's going in. Oh, I can't even look at her. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. Tyler's like right here. I'm right there. And then I was just like. Like, oh, my God. And she finally, after she just chews Tyler to new one, she finally goes up to me, Brian. And I'm like, oh, crap. I was like, yeah. And I look at that. She's like, hey, I'll never forget this. Tyler's mom said this verbatim. And I'll never forget this to this day. She's like, Brian, I don't blame you. Tyler's the one that influenced you. Even though I drove, I was like, huh? Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. He influenced me. Yeah. He, yeah. What? He influenced me. Yeah. It was, it was all his fault. Yeah. And I couldn't get a ride home that day, even though Tyler only lives a couple blocks away. But I, she said I could just, I just had to leave. So I, I took that as my blessing, and I took off, and I ran home. And then saw my mom. I started, like, I was super sweet that week. I think I did nothing but dishes, chores, all that stuff. And mom was like, why are you acting so strange? I was like, oh, no reason. I just, just love my mom. I just want to help her and things of that nature. Luckily... Shouts out to Mama Gross, or Tyler's mom. She never told my mom. And my mom or dad don't know to this day. As uh, eight years to this day. I mean, you know, if I blow up on YouTube or someone puts this on Facebook and she sees my face, <laughs> mom gonna know then. <laughs> but she don't know now. So, yeah. That was about the time I had stolen a car. You know what I'm saying? And I was whipping it on some, like, Tokyo Drift stuff or something like that. Whatever. But hopefully you enjoyed this story. Sorry I haven't been uploading much gameplay videos like I want to. Uh, my my Twitch is messing up. Like, I, I can log into my Twitch, but I, I need the access code for the phone number. So, like, my phone's off. So, yeah, I need to get my money up so I can get my Twitch back so I can edit videos and make quality videos for you. But hopefully you still join the story videos. I also want to do, like, a, a advice thing. 
like I used to, I used to do it for myself. So I, or maybe you guys would like that. I used to use the camera a lot. So I'm, I'm getting more comfortable on the camera. Yeah. So hopefully you found that video funny. Hopefully that made your day. And yeah, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? We trying to get to hundred subs on YouTube. Hundred. That's it. That's it. That's light. I'm at like thirty eight. That's light for us. Light. We could get there. Okay, guys. Um, it's your boy B Herb, Prince, Prime, whatever you want to call me, whatever you feel comfortable calling me. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like I said, trying to get to 100. Love you guys. Thank you if you clicked on this video. I'm out. Peace.